Guess what cats eat for snack? Mice Krispies! Good guess. friends as we continue down the road to becoming primary mathematician problem solvers as we explore the eight most useful problem solving strategy for the primary mathematician that's you today we're going to explore the guess and check strategy in the guess and check strategy we examine a problem from what we learn in the problem we make our best guess as to what the answer is and then we check to see if that answer was right now most of the time that answer is not going to be the right answer but it's going to give us some more information so that we can now make a better guess and then we check that answer and if we're right problem solved if not we have more information so we can make an even better guess here let's explore a problem together all right, my fellow problem solvers, let's use the guess and check strategy to solve this problem. It says Amy has a rock collection. She has black and gray rocks. She has 11 rocks in her collection. If six of the rocks are black, how many are gray? All right, so reading this problem, we know that Amy collects rocks, and so far she has 11 rocks in her collection. We know that the 11 rocks are either black or gray, and six of them are black. And we need to figure out how many gray rocks Amy has. Well, the problem tells us that six are black, and we need to guess how many gray rocks she has. Well, I know 11 is more than six, so obviously she has to have some gray rocks. So I'm going to guess four. I'm going to guess four gray rocks. And now we're going to see if I'm right by checking if my guess was correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, ten is less than eleven, so I did not guess enough. I need to guess more than four. So I'm going to guess six, six rocks. Now I'm going to check again. New guess, new check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, twelve is too many. Well, ten is too few when guessing four, and twelve is too many when guessing six. That means I know my answer has to be more than four and less than six. Well, what number is more than four and less than six? Five, of course. So I'm going to guess five. And now I'm guessing five because I know more. So let's see if this guess is correct by checking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's correct. We know that Amy has five gray rocks in her collection. So you see how guess and check allowed us to eventually get to the answer? Let's look at another problem. The problem says Sam likes milk and cookies for snack. He got seven cookies put them on the table, and then went for the milk. When he got back, he noticed only four cookies on the table. Rufus, his dog, ate some of my cookies, he thought. And he was right. How many cookies did Rufus eat? So when we look at this problem, we see that Sam started with seven cookies. And he has four now. So he has less cookies. So that means Rufus ate some cookies. So we need to figure out how many. I'm going to guess that Rufus ate 
four of Sam's cookies. Now, after that guess, I need to check. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an X on four cookies because four cookies is my guess. And I'm going to see how many are left. So I count one, two, three. Well, three is less than four. So Rufus ate, Rufus did not eat four cookies. He ate less than four cookies. Because if he ate four cookies, I'd only have three left. And I have four left. So I'm, I got close. So I need to get a number that's close to four, but less. So I'm going to guess three. And again, I'm going to use X's to indicate the cookies I think Rufus ate. Three. And I'm going to see how many are left. One, two, three, four. That's correct. I have four cookies left. So if Rufus ate three, it would leave me four. So the solution to our problem using the guess and check strategy is three. Rufus ate three cookies. All right, let's see how you guys can do. I'm going to give you a problem and then you hit pause and see if you can solve the problem using the guess and check strategy on your own. When you think you have an answer, you're going to hit play. I'll be here and we'll see how you did. All right, my friends, it's time to show what you know. We're going to go over the problem together, then you hit pause, solve the problem as best as you can using the guess and check strategy. When you think you have the problem solved, hit play. And guess what? I'll be here waiting. The problem says, Kim went to the pond to feed the ducks. She goes often. Last time, she fed two ducks. This time... She fed five ducks. How many more ducks did she feed this time than last time? All right, guys, hit pause. Solve the problem as best as you can. And like I said, I'll be here waiting when you're done. We'll see how you did. So let's see how you did. Kim went to the pond to feed the ducks. And she goes a lot. Last time there was two, and this time there's five ducks. And we need to figure out how many more ducks are there this time than last time using the guess and check strategy. Well, the problem tells us that there were two ducks last time, and we know that there are five this time. So I'm going to guess four. I'm going to guess four ducks. There were two, now there are four. And now I'm going to check to see if that answer is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two last time. I'm guessing that there were four more this time. But six is greater than five. So four was a good guess, but it was too high. It was close but too high. So I need a number that's close to four, but less. So I'm going to guess three. Two ducks. And I'm going to guess three more. One, two, three, four, five ducks. So there you go. Guess and check. Unbelievably useful problem solving strategy, not only for the primary mathematician, but for mathematicians everywhere. So take care, guys. Be safe. And as always, I shall see you next time.